My name is Trayvon Reed, and I am formerly incarcerated in the California Department of Corrections. Whew. 13 and a half years in prison is literally hell on earth. You always in the back of your mind um, wonder if you're gonna ever make it out, ever see your family again. He had grew up being an honor roll kid. I mean, everybody loved Trayvon. Everybody loved Trayvon. It was always go to Trayvon, Trayvon will help you, you know. So he was that type of kid. So when he got in trouble, it, it was really hard to just figure out how I could even help. It was just a product of decisions that I was making, people that I was hanging out with, and things that I was letting be in my orbit that kind of pulled me down at that time. We participated in a lot of different criminal activities, drug dealing, and just, you know, fighting, and, you know, assault, and all kind of different situations, like a danger to the neighborhood. It was like he flipped the script. He, everything went a different way. It just, it was so unbelievable. I have my only kid in jail for, they're talking about forever, and it's like, this is my only kid. Where did I go wrong? That's where I was at. It was rough. Oh, I cried so many days and nights. I just felt like crying at some point was not gonna be my answer, was not gonna help me help Trayvon. Without C4C, I wouldn't be sitting here speaking to you right now. It was a springboard definitely to, for the world to kind of see that there are people of value with lived experience that um, are kind of being put by the wayside when they can help and we want to help. The Careers for a Cause program is a job training program that was really born out of industry need. Over the course of the eight weeks, um, participants are building a whole bunch of different skills that are going to enable them to, to get an entry-level job in homeless services and, and social services sectors. We build an um, industry-informed curriculum that you know, supports job readiness, um, you know, gets folks mental health first aid, trains them on HMIS and the data systems they're going to need um, within these jobs, and then connects them to you know, high-quality jobs. We're not only building a workforce for the homeless services and social services sector that actually gives them qualified candidates to do the work in helping folks get into permanent housing, but we're putting the right folks into the job. So individuals that have lived homelessness experience or have dealt with other really challenging systemic barriers to employment um, inherently understand the, the multitude of, of challenges that clients might be experiencing. Every day it's a different area in terms of peer support specialist. Every day we're looking at a new skill set or a new philosophy. Initially, they are very afraid. They're afraid because many of them have never been on a college campus before. By the time they leave, they're confident and they're ready to enter the workforce. Eight weeks, it's not that much time to change someone's life, but it is. That hope and that inspiration is inside of them. But during their life, they've had a lot of different obstacles along the way. All of that has gotten in the way of them achieving their goal. What this program, the C4C program does, is eliminate all those barriers and says, hey, you got this and we got you and we're gonna help you. He like has this energy that kind of motivates you as soon as you set foot on campus. It was a great experience for me to be on a college campus and take other college courses as well, which I never thought that I was um, gonna be attending the college. They give us laptops, so I'm there every day with my laptop, my backpack, and my pen and my paper taking notes. I just had to just, you know, stay focused on what the task was and um, continue to wake up and, and do what I saw was working. He's the living embodiment of, you know, the success that our program can have. Is really intentional about 
how he you know comes into work every day and how he interacts with us he can really provide that you know shared experience in a way that maybe some of the other people on our team wouldn't be able to do that i'm so proud to see where he is now and i know that he has always been this type of kid yeah that's why i'm mostly proud that he knows where he is so he's not really in a new place he's just back where he was at and that's why i'm crying because i'm happy that he figured it out he figured it out even when he was going through it i was like this is my son can you believe it this is my son but now i'm like can you believe it this is my son all in the same breath so he's always been my son it's like a microwave for me. It cooked me all the way, all the way around. Now I'm, I'm a symbol for something different. I'm a symbol for hope now. I'm a symbol for change. I'm a symbol for inspiration.